Welcome back to 20XX. So in between this part and the last one, I bought the DLC characters. We're gonna start off playing Draco. He's probably the most drastic change oh. from the regular characters. What a big guy. So you see those two balls swirling around him. Draco does not really use the energy bar that much. He actually focuses more on primary weapons. He's able to carry a bunch of primary weapons, both of the DLC characters add several weapons that their characters can use. We're also going to be doing the challenge just for the hell of it, because you had mentioned we should probably show it. Yeah. We're going to see how well I manage it. But uh, Draco cannot charge his weapons. Instead, if you press up and do the attack, he does a special charge attack for each of the weapons that uses up one of those two balls floating around, and you need to wait for them to recharge. Hmm. Can you, like, do it while moving by going diagonally up? Yeah. Cool. You just have to hold up on the control stick or the D-pad. Through all of recording this part, I didn't know that. So I'm gonna have some <laughs> trouble using Draco. Also, interestingly, both he and Hawk start out with two weapons. Draco starts out with his hammer, and he also has a boomerang. The boomerang is frankly more useful even if it doesn't do that much damage. Yeah, that thing seemed insane from when you were trying it out earlier. <laughs> I feel like the little snake just didn't see that coming. He's like, ow. <laughs> hey. The hammer is cool if I could use the charge correctly. Pressing up, you do an uppercut, which actually does sort of send you flying, so you can use it as a double jump. And yeah, the charge is much stronger than the regular attack. And the regular attack is pretty strong to begin with. With the boomerang, its charge attack is if it doesn't kill the enemy that it hits, it freezes them in place for a second. And he has a bunch of other weapons you can find. So he's pretty cool if you can get used to him. He's by far the most challenging character to play as. Yeah, he seems very complicated. He makes for an interesting challenge. I'm glad that they made the DLC characters unique and their own type of challenge. Dashed on beat there, and I thought it was pretty funky. <laughs> Damn. Not used to him at all, huh? Not even a little. That was right when I bought him. So that was a wash. Cat's like, are you back already? And also, this is a terrible idea. Oh. We need to start playing on Defiant and actually complete a run with that. And I figure, what the hell, let's put some handicaps on. Because that'll make it easier. More enemies, oh god. When you go to complete Defiant, at least on Steam, on consoles, you don't actually have to do this. On Defiant, you want to actually have at least three handicaps active one of the times that you manage to complete Defiant, like a later run or what have you, because that unlocks something. Ooh! Unlockables! And I believe I unlocked that in part eight, was when I actually managed a complete run of Defiant. Stay tuned, fellas! I'd... Spoilers, I don't think I complete a run in this part, because this is just showing off the DLC characters. It took me a little while to get used to both of them. But you see something up there. That is a new location. That gives me new types of augs. So quickly we want to get to that. Looks like the jelly green giant's legs that attract me. It's a teleporter to a special room. Or that. I think mine's a bit more plausible. <laughs> The very safe laboratory. That is clearly Dr. Sharp. Become mighty. These are prototypes. These are augs that both benefit me and majorly inhibit me. Oh. What that prototype did was it gave me seven plus damage to my attack, but now I can't charge. 
I already didn't know how to do that with Draco, so it didn't change much. Yeah. But if you actually knew how to use Draco, that could be a major inhibitor to using him. But if you don't know how to use Draco, then it's only a positive. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> it's like using that weapon in the penguin's face. <laughs> Fuck you! Bam! With the hammer! <laughs> the hammer can be satisfying. This episode on tiny things that shouldn't be as funny as they were. As in, my abilities. <laughs> yeah. So do you have to use that little fucking blowy thing before you can use the hammer? Yeah, it's a combo weapon. Oh, okay. It's like the first run is like a fist, then it's the hammer. Okay, got it. I was like, okay, I'm done with Draco. Let's try out Hawk. Ah, oh, purple. Hawk is cool. Ooh. She's probably my new favorite character to play. She starts out kind of woefully underpowered. Her whip isn't very strong. She starts out with her own power, a machine gun which can only fire forward, and it does not do a lot of damage. So, Jacob, you're probably wondering, what's the point, then? I am wondering, what's the point, then? Is having a whip and being cool? See those orbs flying out of the enemies? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. She gives you, like, health and armor and stuff. No. Oh. <laughs> you're, you're nearly on the right idea, but you said all the wrong words. Um... <laughs> Her whip is called the Siphon, and every time you hit an enemy, there's a chance that it will steal energy from them. Energy, okay. And she also has several new powers that you can find throughout the game. Draco, when you play through him, he has a chance that, like, the boss weapons will instead be replaced with basic weapons. So, like, you're not really focusing on the powers. Hawk focuses much more on the powers. And since you steal energy from all the enemies, you basically have infinite energy. Meaning, you can infinitely use other weapons. That's pretty tight. So she pretty much relies heavily on boss weapons and stuff. Kind of. You could get some stupid powerful other powers. It, like if you find a diamond chest. So does that kind of make the early game even more challenging than it would be with another character? Kind of. Like this first level, you only have the one power. Which... Frankly, in the regular game, you don't even start out with one power. But the enemies are also really weak, so you can get some good use out of the assault rifle. It's like Hawk is challenging until you figure out that her whip steals energy. You can do it. Also, I'm just straight up bad at this. Unachieved. That was a weird moment. And that was a dumb moment. But I teleported out on my own right as the timer ended, so it teleported me out again. Oh. I was wondering what happened there. So let's try it on normal so I can actually get used to her. And this is where I really start having fun, because I start out with the diamond chest, which I unlocked. So I'm immediately getting one of her special powers. The blast jump. It's a double jump that causes an explosion under you. Let's see it. I will show it. I promise. Do not deny me this explosion. Oh, that's awesome. You get some good height too. And it does some decent damage. I got greedy. Can you use it when you're falling? Yes. You can only use it once when you're in the air, though. Right. And I got another diamond chest. That's a homing rocket. What the? Wow. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty gross. So Hawk is pretty damn fun to play.
It's like, if you're a pure numbers guy, she starts out kind of weak, but it's just not a problem. So I think the entire rest of this video is basically just talk. Because I needed to figure out Draco on my own time. Yeah, fuck Draco. He's a fucking... He's too round. You'll just never run out of energy. In fact, anything that takes damage, you can steal energy back from. So even the chests will give you energy. And also, that door at the end of the game, right when you save L, you get energy off of that. Not that you need it by then. <laughs> but just to drive it home. Uh, just in case you feel like it. At that point, it just becomes an addiction more than a want. You'll see how quickly I forget about the blast jump. But it's so cool! It is pretty cool. There are cooler weapons, I think. The homing rocket is one of them, for one. Uh, yeah. Ah, uh, that must be so useful here. Fuck him up! Base damage of the rifle is just five per shot. But you fire him out pretty quickly. So basically the best way to use Hawk is use some of your powers on the boss until you get low on energy, then focus on using the web to get it back up, and then just finish them off with your another power. It's nice in the first level, this guy doesn't summon any more of the fire-spinning flowers. Hey, Murder Drone is actually kind of annoying to use when you're Hawk. Because he will kill enemies before you can get energy off them. Oh, great. And you need to hit him with the whip in order to get the energy. Especially annoying if, say, you get an AUG that increases the amount of energy that you find, and you don't need it. You'll just rather you got health or nuts. I'm like that anyway, honestly. You'd rather get anything else. But with Hawk, it's especially useless. God, that move is tight. I don't know what it is about it, just the maneuverability combined with the lethality, it's just... I love it. It's pretty sweet. You can see, this is the point where I forgot that I had it. Oh, if only I had something to help me get across these large chasms easier. I can jump. Easier. I can jump and complete the distance. Ugh. With space to spare. If only I had something to help me clear these chasms easier and look fucking rad doing it. I already look rad, look at me. Alright, you win. Don't use the cool explosion jump, see what I care. Mm. I mean, you are right. Because your powers are much more beneficial than your whip as a weapon. With Hawk, the best thing you can do is focus on killing enemies with your powers, and then just use the whip to get the energy back. Because especially if you get augs that boost the damage your powers do, you really should focus more on using those than the whip, at least defensively.
You can use the whip, because it is a core weapon. So you can increase its power, and it can get pretty powerful. And you can swing it reasonably fast. Also, whips are cool. I like characters with whips. Yeah. But there, there is a way to min-max Hawk, and focusing on the whip is not one way to do it. Also, I have a double jump, so I really don't need the, <laughs> I don't need the blast jump. I'm also very spiky. I like the way he does that cool slick and back of the spikes. Oh yeah. And they just pop right back up. Ugh, it's honestly a burden. If I didn't look so cool doing it, I'd be very upset. <laughs> Can't do anything about it. I love how this game also has the classic video game 3,462 explosions coming off of one single enemy when it dies. Just to wait until I can figure out how to actually use the Nova attack against that bat. It's special. The homing rockets are really nice for these types of enemies where you don't want to get close. Oh yeah. Keep your distance. And it's cool, with how much damage I'm doing right now, those pink ones takes one rocket to kill, the yellow ones takes two, and the big angry red ones takes three. So nice and easy to remember. At least for this run to remember, like your damage will change. Oh, I almost saved it! And then I fucked ah. it. If only I'd remember to use Blast Jump when I was falling. Yeah! <laughs> it would've been like an action movie. So, uh, it was an accident using the Quinn laser, but it's like, oh, it's still going. There it, there it goes. Oh, I thought it'd just go forever. Right, by this point, I know how to actually use the Shatter Shot. Another thing you can do is, if you just hit the ceiling and fire forward, it'll hit everything along the ceiling. You don't need to get too special with your shots. Oh, Armor Scoop is so good. I like the name Armatorn. This run is basically me getting used to Hawk. Everything I'm saying about the best ways to utilize her, I learned after the fact. Because <laughs> she does play quite different. I guess I'm just used to playing Nina and Ace, in that I, I focus more on my core weapon, just inherently. Yeah, that's the thing about characters with this much of a difference. Like, you just have to kind of get yourself out of that rut of not trying to play with the other characters. I'm gonna pretend what I just said made sense. Scoop is better. Yay, three. 
extreme poverty. They make no noise whatsoever. So something I... It seems pretty obvious looking at it, but it didn't quite click with me at first. Those platforms, when you stand on them, they fall and explode. That's a viable way to kill them. Because most of where they land, except up on the ceiling, they land in places where you can easily drop platforms on them. We could switch out the rifle with something else. The rifle is less than a crutch. It's when you have nothing else. <laughs> All right, now I'm speeding through this. The first chunk of this was just seeing how Hawk works, and now we're actually making our way through a run. And now we're getting real. I mean, you would think the fire shield would also work against Shatterby. That would make sense. Something else that, like I mentioned in a previous episode, the weaknesses to the bosses are just something you kind of have to figure out instead of trying to piece together logically. Still not using Eternal Star's weakness yet. I think I do in the next part, though. And if not, part 8. It's in a upcoming part. If not that, part 12. Yeah, damage. Herald of Hope. This is before I knew that Force Nova was its weakness. And wow, he's, n he's just not strong. <laughs> he just stood there and took it. He's like, listen, man, I want to be here about as much as you do. I like the way the chest just exploded nuts. Nut explosion. Peeled eyes. God. That guy's fucked up. Me actually using the shatter shot correctly. I know that's not what it's called. I cannot remember. Oh, but I found a really good weapon. World Igniter. It's a flamethrower that is stupid strong. Ooh. Let's see it. Give me time to find the right enemy. Mr. Impatient. <laughs> hey. We had the same insult in mind. <laughs> Soon we will also see what the purple bee does. Because I mentioned what it does, it doesn't quite describe exactly what happens. I've only found that flamethrower in the lotus level. That would have been the ultimate irony. Just burn the garden down. Yeah. Yeah, health. Though with Hawk, you really want to focus more on increasing your powers. I guess there's no really wrong way to play the game if you actually can't complete it. So, fuck it. Ah, my guts that I don't have.
smack. Yeah, we can fight Rolster last. By the time I'm recording this, I was much more conscious of all the traps and what all the powers do to deflect them. Oh, there's my body. I looked up what that thing actually does here. Uh, it's not worth it. Do not take it whatsoever. The thing about the prototypes is there will always be a pretty big negative until you can find something called a system restore. Then it actually it negates the negative and only gives you the positive. But until then, it's crap. What did that exactly do? I think it just completely dropped your damage to one. Ugh, gross. It's nasty. Fucking dark disgusting. I think the next round, I'm gonna actually let that teeth thing go. Oh, yeah, look at it. Look at his health melt. It also melted all of my energy, but I'm Hawk. It doesn't matter. Yeah, let's get it back. So the Force Nova actually comes from the teeth, not from Vile Visage himself. But when the teeth uses it, he also sends out the little spider bots. And now my powers are more powerful. Ah, uh, I filled up my inventory. Ah, uh, I can only hold so much. Has that ever happened before? No, I've never been in a situation where I've had more powers than the bosses would give me. But with Hawk, that will happen. It happens even more with Draco, because he can use a bunch of regular weapons, he can only hold one power. I'm just starting to notice that the interactions between the Doctors kind of reminds me of the interactions between, like, the hosts of the Splatoon games. They're helpful, and they're nice to each other, but they're also really condescending. <laughs> See, in this situation, I should have just jumped up to the ceiling and fired forward. There's the woobity woobity again. <laughs> the woobity woobity. <laughs> yeah. Um. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot to mention. Hawk has the most hilarious damage sound. <laughs> <laughs> also, it's nice he just jumped headlong into it too. You didn't have to jump there. Uh, it's actually not so useful with Hawk. For reasons I've mentioned. Hey, you got your fucking whip that gives you energy. Why would you want a, why would you want a sword? Oh, I love the armor scoop. I think that was around the point where we realized, wait, with the character I am, that's actually not so helpful. But whatever. It also means my whip is decently powerful, so I can use that as standard weapon anyway. Aren't you glad you live in a refinery? The heat! It's too hot! It's a little annoying that he has so many invincibility frames when he's revving up. You can't do any damage to him until he's flying. That is pretty annoying. There are too many rollsters now. Ah! Uh. Go on, Thor. I believe in you. I'm out of energy. 
No. It drains your energy really fast. Whip it. Whip it, Hawk. Do not need that. I didn't. All right, we're almost done. Yeah. When you got armor scoop, it's totally worth it just wasting all your money on a vending machine. Even if I it only I think it only gave me one extra piece of armor, maybe two. See, so yeah, look at the flamethrower. It, it melts everybody's God. health. Okay, just whip, whip, flame. Whip, whip, flame. Repeat. There's so much happening. Yep. You're all right. This really does feel more like a final boss than Flat does. Yeah, Flat's just bigger. That's only that's the only thing that quant. I feel like they had this argument. Like I, I have a lot more going on in my fight. I'm more challenging. I'm much flashier and difficult. Well, I'm big. <laughs> I'm paid more. <laughs> I'm a goddamn rock star. <laughs> I mean, it does look like evil Thomas Dolby, I guess. Speed bones get. Every time... <laughs> <laughs> okay. Every time this part comes up, I just... Oh God, I don't understand why it needs to be there. It's sad. Oh no, I'm not dealing with you. I'm getting my numbers mixed up. Because if you notice, Hawk is the only character that can also use a right trigger. Because usually the right trigger just isn't used for any of the characters, but since she's so focused on powers, they had to give her an extra slot. There's so much. I would get my buttons mixed up so much playing this game. Yep. Or I should say, I will. Aha. Uh -huh. Aha, uh -huh. you have the game now. I do. Uh, I want that. Get it! Yeah, I did wow, it. Wow, nice. I don't usually. Uh, don't feel like dealing with this. I pretty much always keep Force Nova. For reasons like that. Because I like to use them as barriers. Also, I remembered there was a pit at the bottom. Yeah, you were covering a lot of ground there. You should have just fell into the pit for fun's sake. For <laughs> comedy's sake. I did before. I'm supposed to learn. But learning's not funny. <laughs> Look at that. It explodes into four bees that then immediately dive bomb and explode again. I'm not sure how to approach this. There we go. Just a lucky dodge. I guess the problem with the shatter, when it hits a wall, none of the projectiles go straight up or straight down. Which, I mean, I guess there wouldn't. Because if it did, it would very easily take care of a lot of these fire traps. I love the rocket. I keep mixing up my flamethrower button. I just like the slow bullet that actually ended up killing the bee. 
Yeah. He'll do that sometimes. Oh, this part's a bitch. Yep. Running low on health, too. Yeah, gotta find some green. There's some green. Get it! Nice! At this point, I'm just attacking them directly. Sometimes, if you got the energy, you don't need to be fancy with it. God, the, shat the fucking Shatter Sickle is badass. It can be pretty powerful. I, I'm, a, I'm a sucker for weapons that hit enemies that aren't right in front of you. Like behind you, or below you, or above you. I love weapons like that. I hate these fuckers. I think that's why I like the explosive double jump so much. Oh, goodbye. Man, the space station levels are long. Yeah. I'm invested in this run, though. Nice way to show off just how powerful you can become with Hawk. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, she can be really powerful. <laughs> <laughs> Did her voice actors mean to make it sound like that? Because it... It doesn't sound painful, it sounds more nauseated. Ugh. Every time, every time Hawk gets hit, she gets robo diarrhea. Just aggravated with the world. Oh. I have pretty good luck with this slot machine, at least. I can buy everything. Except I don't want that. I can buy everything, doesn't mean I will. Eh, I've got the mix and match thing, so I want to keep the stats. And also, I'm using powers more, so that's fine with me. Oh, yeah. So much health and energy, we're back to numbers. Yeah. And, yeah, just to show it. Because I had the money. I'm not spending it anymore. All right, Thorn. Don't fuck it up. <laughs> okay, Jacob, trip explode. Ah! I just noticed he bats away the health bar. Yeah. I don't really need the homing rocket for flat. The Shatter Sickle, as I guess we formally dubbed it now, is actually pretty good for getting his legs up. Because it hits him multiple times. However, it's also, you see right there, it's a good way to accidentally hit him, and then he'll prematurely reset the arena. Ow. Yeah. Although, nicely, all of my sibling corpse, uh, yeah, I guess sibling corpses also recover my energy. I wonder if it's possible to get him to lift all of his legs at once and then just fall. <laughs> you know, I don't know. First of all, why did he program these legs to feel? <laughs> I think that's, that must be why they're being lifted. Like, oh, stop it. It tickles. Oh, you missed me. Like, if this lanky bitch just kept his feet down, you would lose every time. Look, he has crab mandibles up front. He never uses them. Unless that's where he fires out rockets. Look at those little things. He couldn't use them if he tried. They're so tiny.
I mean, I guess the reason this is the final boss and not Dr. Sharp is it's not constricted to one tiny room. It is much larger and more epic. Yeah, it, it is big. And he is kind of a final test as well, just less in terms of boss attacks and more in terms of traps. Dude, you got this. I'm surprising myself with how little damage I'm taking. Yeah, he's still got so much health, but I just noticed he's, he's still in the yellow. Oh, now in the red. The ring is in the red. I really should be using my uh, flamethrower. The world igniter. Yeah, ignite his fucking world. The sad thing is legs don't give me energy because they're not taking damage. Yeah. Another reason he shouldn't lift them. Not like he needs to worry about them breaking. They don't take damage. Yeah! There we go. Slapped him on the back of the head. Long run across the room. Now, something I noticed in the next room, there are the teleporters. You hear a couple of teleportations. I wonder if those are the doctors. Because they keep coming back. Also, yeah, fuck you, Ace. Like, it looks like when you whipped it, it looks like it had a little mouth with those two nuts, his eyes. <laughs> that Nina's just dancing. And that one. I love how even though there's no real danger, you always seem to be in such a hurry to get through this. <laughs> Well, I do want to finish the run. Oh, yeah. There's no sense arsing around. All of these bodies can hurt me. Most of them anyway, at least the ones running. Yeah, dying at this part must feel really bad. It's also kind of hard to die by this point. It's not hard. If you made it through the rest of the game, you have more than enough of the skills required to get through here. There we go. For some fun. For you, Jacob. Aw, thanks, buddy. Make this as chaotic an exit as possible. More explosions! There we go. And you said you wouldn't finish a run in this episode. I thought I wouldn't. If anything, I know I wouldn't finish a defiant run. Do we get a cool new cutscene? No, sadly. The DLC characters do not get any cutscenes. Ugh. Wasted opportunity. Because you could have some interesting lore exploration with having these two new additional characters who are unconnected to the story, but apparently still robots built by the doctors. Yeah. They bring up questions. Get on that for DLC patches. So next time I will try more with Draco. I'm not going to succeed super well, but I'm going to actually understand him a little better by next time. And by part eight, I think I'll understand him even more. But yeah, Hawk by far. Probably my new favorite of the characters. Uh, yeah, I was almost hoping you would just leave Draco behind in that one little segment. To just never use him again. <laughs> That wouldn't be fair for the Let's Play. I want to at least get him right and at least finish a run with him. I know I'm not going to finish a Defiant run with him, but I know eventually I finish a normal run. Yeah, he's too weird having a hard time understanding him. Maybe I'll understand him more uh, the more you play as him. It's easier once you get a handle on how his charge ability works. Right. Because I hadn't figured that out yet. You don't hold the button down. You press up on the D-pad or the control stick. And I have to figure that out accidentally. Right. I mean, you can't look it up. There is a 20XX wiki. Oh my. And they give you pretty much all the information. I should have just looked it up there first. 
But now once you figure him out, he's an interesting challenge. Probably a more annoying thing about him is the boss weapons often get replaced with some of his special weapons. I'm at a point where I know how well you can use them to protect yourself from the traps that it's really annoying when they get replaced with like a fucking spin glaive. <laughs> But I will say, is Boomerang a remarkably good weapon, even if it starts out kind of weak? Yeah, his Boomerang looks cool, especially with how many you can throw. You can jackhammer it. Yeah, usually with weapons like that, you can only throw, like, one at a time. And also, it always moves forward and then curves around upwards. So if you can angle it just right, you can attack some enemies from an interesting position that way. Yeah, and it's got a very interesting angle, too. So, he's a cool character, but yeah, Hawk, I love playing this, sir. We'll take a look at him more next time. Actually, before I before we end it, I just want to reiterate that in my head, I continuously read this as 20XDX, and now it sounds weird whenever you say the actual name. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> I don't know if the developers also pronounce it 20XDX. I don't know. It depends on if they're Homestar Runner fans.